Uh, my name is Pat Thomas, uh, alias the Golden Boys of Africa, and I'm proud of that name. I grew up in Kumasi and then um, continued to tap around. And that's where everything started. My music career started from uh, Massey, and I continued to Tap Rally. And uh, Tap Rally is where I, I, I improved my learning of music at uh, elementary school. And uh, I saw it mean that uh, I, I, I can sing. So I decided to be a singer, and uh, so that feeling sticked with me until I became a singer. 1979, I, I lived in a hole. Um, I lived in a hole in Germany, in Berlin. And I stayed there for about three and a half years. Then I went to, I left Germany to London. Uh, while I was in Germany, a promoter came in for me to go to and perform at, uh, in London. This story, uh, I, I will always feel some kind of way if I'm narrating this story uh, because the promoter that uh, took me to London stole all my money you know at the, at the end of the show I couldn't find the promoter and that's that's all I was left stranded in London for almost about eight months, you know, until a, a friend came to my aid and bought me a ticket to come to Ghana. But before that, before I, I was going to come to Ghana, a message came from Canada. Another promoter took me to Canada. You know, so I could I didn't go to Canada. Again. I'd rather end up in Canada. And I stayed in Canada for about almost 10 years. You know. They accepted the music. Everywhere I performed, they liked it. They enjoyed me. And so I was happy to keep on doing it the way I, was, I wanted it. Actually, the first place I, I, I went there, I watched Stevie Wonder. And uh, I was so much in love with him. Though he was my mentor, because I loved his songs. While I was in Ghana, I was singing his songs. I liked, I saw Jimmy Cliff and Shoes. I saw um, Simon and Gafonke. I saw Maria McKee. I, I saw a lot of artists and uh, I enjoyed them. At the time when the the the, the were true common common, that was my one of my saddest moments. Even though I I did not know Kwame Koma directly, though I, I but all what I know was he was the founder of our independence. So I love him. And uh, I, I, I loved his uh, sort of, um, I, like, I loved everything about him, you know, but uh, you know, not everybody who would like him or that kind of thing. When, when the coup happened, I, 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 I went to my room in the evening and I cried, me alone. I don't know why. But I think it's because of the love that I had for that man that's, that made me cry. 
and that's when he learns that I will never ever forget. Oh yes, it's Umbra. The inspiration came from uh, while I was in Berlin in my room rehearsing with my musicians. Me alone, in the first place myself alone. I was, I was playing keyboard. And uh, I, I played a chord and the idea came. No, I played the instrumentals and then singing the song. Yes, it's Umbra came to me. And I love it so much. Anytime, I don't, I don't normally sing that song because I have some kind of feeling in that song that sometimes it makes me um, want to cry. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And so normally I don't, I don't sing it. Uh, I don't sing it uh, unless uh, it's a request. Yes, we sunny Yes, Sometimes when I'm singing, I like to play guitar because you know. Autumn for Jay, sunny bright. Autumn for Jay, Sunny bright, oh my young man, man's empire. Sunny bright, yeah, yeah, sunny bright. What you know for sun? Oh, never show my. In the beginning, I was trying to learn. Sax and uh, a friend of mine. He's also he he was also a singer, and at the same time he was playing sax. Very very good singer and a very good saxophone player. His name is Ray Allen. He's in London now. And uh, when he saw that I was trying to learn the sax, he came to tell me that whole part. I know you're a very good singer. I want you to stick to your singing uh, life instead of you switching yourself to the home side. Then I, told, I asked him, but why are you, you're also a singer, why are you playing sax? You know? So he, he discouraged me to concentrate on my vocals instead of the home. Well, I, 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 I listened to his advice. And I did concentrate on my vocals. Maybe he saw something in me that uh, that's why he gave me that advice. I don't know. You know, so uh, my instrument is my voice. Yeah. But though I play a, a little guitar, I play keyboards, I play congress, I play um, percussion and everything. Except horn. I started learning. Um, Guitar from Kumasi mm -hmm. while I was living with my uncle, and uh, I took it away to Takrabi. That's where I met Uncle Ibo Taylor, who's a wizard guitarist and a ranger. And so he taught me a little more of guitar, improved one, mm -hmm. you know, and the keyboards for the keyboards. Uh, most of the time, if you play guitar, you can at the same time play keyboard. If you if you want, because the same cordial things and fingerings and everything. So I play a little keyboards too. When I went to tap writing, um, uh, where I went, uh, it's called uh, Zenith Hotel. A small fact. The story started like uh, while I was in Kumasi. Uh, the band came from Takwani to play in the Kumasi. There's a, club, a nightclub called Atomic. And uh, many times when the band comes to play there, I go there and, and by then I was so heavy that I couldn't go inside. So I'll stay outside and 
enjoy the music and all that. But when, when this band came from Takurade, I went there to listen to them and I enjoyed them so much while I was at the uh, I was outside. So when they went on break, I made sure that I would see some of them. Talk to them or something. Luckily for me, I met the, the, the drummer. They were coming out, they were coming out and then, and then I asked for uh, who was the drummer. And then they called him for me. His name was Moby Dick. And I liked him because he was playing so good. So uh, when I met him, I told him, oh, I like him very much. I like the way he plays. And uh, uh, I want to be a singer. So, oh, oh, so I mean, what can you tell me? I mean, how, what advice can you give to me? He then asked me, I want to be a singer. I said, yes. Then he said, okay, um, I, if I come to Takurani, I should look for him. And then, I'll take it from there. So I kept his name in my mind all along. I didn't even know I was going to go to Takurani. Until when my, my, my as I was living with my uncle, uh, the, my uncle is uh, Ken Onina, he's also a guitarist and a singer. And uh, his band was going on top in the Western region. And I cried to him for that. You know. So when we went to Takrani, when we arrived in Takrani, we had to go and find some lunch, uh, a break. So I stepped out from the bus. And uh, I realized myself that uh, I was in Takrani. Then I remembered my friend. Yeah. So I saw some guys walking around and I called them. I called one of them and I asked, asked him about uh, the hotel that my friend told me, the Zenith Hotel. Then the guy told me, you are standing in front of Zenith Hotel. I said, what? Okay. And then I pulled it away from my, my lunch. I went to the front of the Zenith Hotel. When I went there, there was a, a gate guy there who doesn't allow anybody to go in. Because the band in there was rehearsing. You understand? So they asked me, what do I want? And I said, I want to see a friend of mine. So what's his name? And I called the drummer's name, Mokdi. He said, oh, come on. Then he opened the gate for me. Now when I went in, straight to the, to the uh, hotel, I heard the sound. I heard the music sound. The band was rehearsing. There was a band there when they were rehearsing. The band that came to Kumasi when I had a friend in the, in the, in the, the drum. So I climbed up there, it was the uh, access to his and then I climbed up the stairs, I went there and I peeped out. I stood in the window and I was listening to their song, the song that they were rehearsing. And you know the song they were rehearsing was uh, um, KBC's High Life song called Mansa. I saw, I saw my friend. He waved me. When he saw me, he waved me and I waved him. So after they finished playing the song, um, their singer was an Ewe man. He plays from moon and same time sing. He was a singer. And the, the song they were rehearsing was in Chief. You understand? And um, can you see? Can you see song? We call it. We call that song Mansa. I don't know if you have heard about that song. Mansa mo, Mansa mo, Mansa mo, Mansa mo. Have you heard that? Good. And so, 
when they, they finished playing the instrumentals, the singer was supposed to sing. But the tree was so hard whining. You understand? Maybe he was going to see <laughs> in that way. I don't know. <laughs> so, since he couldn't speak the, the tree, they stopped. They stopped the music. My friend told the band leader that, oh, this is a friend from Kumasi who, who can also uh, speak the, uh, maybe write the tree thing for the singer to, to be able to sing. So my friend asked me, but in the first place, they, they, they stopped the music and the, my friend told me uh, he has forgotten my name. What's my name? I told uh, at that time I was called Kwame. Hey. Then I said Kwame. He said, oh, no, what's your guy name? Give me your guy name. Then I said, Pat Thomas. Okay? And that's where Pat Thomas started. And so he asked me, eh, is it possible that I can write the lyrics of that song they are learning for the singer to sing. I said, well, why not? I can write them for you. So they gave me a pen and paper and I wrote it. Now, when they sounded the sound again, the guy couldn't read the tree. You know, though it was going to take him a time before he can read the tree. So my friend asked me, but can I just run to and sing it to the singer so that he can be able to be able to learn it or something. I said, why not? I can, I can sing it. Then they gave me the microphone. And then I sang it half. Uh, everybody was looking at each other and they were, they were murmuring and they were asking themselves questions. I don't know. And then, after that, they all clapped for me. And then the, my friend woke up from his drums, he came to me, and he took me outside. Because I saw that the band leader went to the drummer, and I, I guess uh, what he asked me was, the guy is good, you can't keep him here to be a singer for the band. You understand? And then the, the drummer called me outside and tell him, tell him, the man is there, so, oh, 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 which man is there? Can you stay here with us to be a singer for the group? I said, that's why I'm here. The band leader told him that uh, they want me to stay. And so he went and told the, the boss, the, man, the main man, that uh, they have got a singer and uh, they want me. Me to stay. Then the boss told them that he wanted to come in. He wanted to come and listen to me. When he came, I did this, did the same sound and I sang it. And the boss was so happy that uh, he, I, I mean, he just told me that I have to come and live with him. So I, 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 he told me, I'm not. He will never let me sing for that band, but rather. That's where Ibutala comes in. By then, Uncle Ibutala was in London schooling. And so the boss told me that I should stay with him and wait till Uncle Ibu comes from Europe. And then he, form, he will form a band, and then I will be the singer for that band. When the boss told Ibutala that I was going to be the singer, Ibutala said, How? how? This small guy come and stand in front of me to sing. And the boss told him, let him sing for you to hear before you say anything. And so <laughs> when he wrote a song, I sang it. He showed me how to sing it and I sang it. So oh. he, he, then he I, I became the friend, the nephew, the brother, everything with Uncle. Because he loved the way I sing and uh, 
everything went fine with me and him after today. Aki Butila was there playing with Broadway. They were playing her life in a, in a, in a sort of way. I, 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 uh, but, but when, when I also, he also formed the broad, new Broadway, we are playing, we're still playing our life, but in a modern way than the older ones. You understand what I'm saying? So I think generation makes the whole thing changes. And uh, it's within that uh, coming coming up, uh, then we have come to get the, this um, young guy's style of playing or singing. It's their generation because the music keep on changing and all that. So um, to me, I, I, I'll, I'll take it as it is because it's music and the music is music. And while, while there are generations, things will keep changing all the time. You see, I don't know why people are changing, trying to change her life to be like Afrobeat. Well, the, the, the little story that I know about Afrobeat is the, from Fela. Fela came to Ghana here to learn to play her life. You understand? He's a Nigerian and he came to Ghana. He loved her life, so he came to Ghana to learn more about her life. And um, to his experience, he didn't, he didn't want to use her life, you know, because he's a Nigerian. So he had to find a different name for it. And a little slightly change of the style of my hard life, you know, especially with the rhythms. Then he's, he, you know, he's, he has deviated from hard life a little bit. You understand? And so he has to name it um, his style. He has to name it the way he wants it so that he will catch up like hard life. So he named it Afrobeat. But it's the same highlight that he explained, but only he has just, uh, um, uh, you know, made it, he made it a little different, slightly. That's, what, that's, what, that's how I'm using, that's why I'm using it slightly, because he slightly changed the rhythm and then the style of highlight. And it has came to stick for him. He has cre he created it from her life. That's the whole idea. At the same time, he, uh, to the best of my knowledge, Uncle Butera told me he went to school to get the same school together with Ella. And uh, so, Butera also arranges like Ella. You understand? That's a that's a secret there. Some months ago, a lot of friends sent me a guy who was trying to do a singer security video. He was he's a musician though. I think he's a keyboard player. And he was singing Sikai Muja heavily. He has made he has, he made his version of Sikai Muja. You understand? And uh, I, I enjoyed it very much. I felt so proud that somebody is doing my music. A, 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 an American, you know, the generation I'm talking about. They are all doing good, great. You know? And I'm, 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 excuse me, I'm using some of them together with, uh, like, uh, in a kind of uh, collaboration. Uh, just to encourage them to do what they are doing good. That's it. I, I think I've recorded uh, with uh, Pam Eugene, um, Pamir, and 
sacco di acciami qua a me um, che che fosse after after a lot of them i a collaboration with a lot of them and they are more coming to they are more on the way coming because i enjoy them too you know they are doing they are doing they are doing well they are they are, they are doing some good songs and that's it and they need to be they need to be encouraged that's why i'm, I'm collaboration with them I'm, I'm a whole lot of them. Okay, beautiful people, my name is Pat Thomas, uh, a.k.a. Uh, the Golden Voice of Africa. And thank you to an old to her life. Okay, we don't want to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to give a round of applause for you taking your time out. Ah, thank you. Thank you.